Welcome to Two Minutes of Wonder and we have a marvelous question today and it may feel like it's all self-evident. Why is our sun round? So is our moon and planet Earth and I could go on. But the question becomes more interesting because when you look around the solar system, not everything is round because you've got objects that look rocky-like and these, was, these exist in the asteroid belt and it doesn't end there what about beautiful saturn it's got rings so what's really going on in the universe that's giving us this wonderful set of shapes but if you use your imagination you might even go further and ask why aren't there cubes cube planets or meet this marvelous mathematical figure it's actually a four-dimensional figure and it's the shadow that you're looking at but that's for another day it's a hypercube or a tesseract so the question we are looking at is why are spherical shapes preferential in the universe and yet there are some other types? Well, the gravity of the matter is, and the answer therefore is, we owe it to many thinkers, but for now we'd have to say, move over Newton, Albert Einstein comes by to explain what's really going on and our understanding of what gravity really is. So Professor Einstein, take it away. So what happens is that matter bends space-time. And if you can imagine something like this, so when there is curvature in space-time, things will gravitate or go to the center, just like it, like what you're seeing here. Right? And in the, we also need to understand what's happening in the early solar system, which is full of a lot of debris and gases and they're all swirling around and it's actually very, very violent. And as they crash into each other, they tend to stick together and you can see where this is going. It becomes very, very hot and therefore fluid and fluid due to the curvature of space time will tend to gravitate or go towards the center and the preferential and the natural shape will be a round type of figure that will eventually emerge. So is our earth perfectly spherical? Well, not really because at the poles what you find is that our earth is a little bit squished like this. It's actually the diameter at the equator is wider are bigger than the pole to pole diameter. So what's going on there? And that has to do with the fact that planet Earth spins. And when it spins, the equatorial region is spinning faster than at the top. And that, that situation, the higher speeds causes it to push out a bit and therefore bulge, bulge at the center. And that's why Earth is not exactly um, spherical in shape. So what about the asteroids? Why aren't they round then? Well, the mechanical forces that's actually holding up even this rock it overcomes the force of gravity, which in smaller bodies is actually much, much, much weaker. So you find that small bodies that come together, the mechanical forces will hold it up and keep it in shape and gravity is just not able to overcome it because it's simply weak. Right, so then what's going on here? What are these rings? What are these rings? Well, Saturn's rings are really made up of particles of dust and ice and if you think about it, this is you're actually, um, it's a bit of a model of the solar system in its early stages of formation. So these rings, these particles of dust and gas have actually gotten um, trapped in the gravitational field of Saturn because it's actually much larger and it forms an accretion disk. So in the early stages of the solar system, this would have been our sun. All of these particles which eventually go on to make the planets would have been something like this. But this is what has stabilized and evolved too. So again, the answer is the same, that these particles are so small that their self-gravity is not going to bring them together. Now nearer the sun, you get all these rocky planets and the heat from the sun 
and uh, pressures, the gas pressures blow off all the atmosphere and it leaves those rocky planets, nice reasonably spherical ones right there. So now you know that in the universe, the preferential shape is spherical because it is actually very effective and um, the nature of understanding of gravity where it causes that curvature of space-time causes things to preferentially form there and i've got a little um, trivia for you that do you know that a sphere has a smallest surface area for a given volume isn't that like really cool? So those of you that are fascinated by mathematics, right? How about that? So nature is indeed efficient. This question was so awesome that I decided to go over my two minutes of wonder. So I hope you've enjoyed almost six minutes of wonder, understanding why things are spherical in our solar system and why some of them are not.